that one felt better. Welcome back to DMMTB. Uh, today I'm having a first ride since my crash at uh, Stromlo and I'm here with Dan the man uh, up in his neighborhood. Uh, yeah, so we'll see how we go. He's gonna take me on some uh, some of the trails that he's, that he's been riding recently. All right, see you on the trails. Okay, here we go. Supposed to be a short trail. On this run, the dreaded wind slayer covered the bottom right corner. So I've cropped the image and hopefully you'll barely see it. Yes, nice. Right, yep. Oh, tight there. Oh. Thank you. Typical Sydney tech. Even though I said that, there is a difference between the coastal and the non-coastal in that the rock is darker the further away you get from the coast. Whoa. Super techy. Yeah. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> what a view. Yeah. Best ones over there. Yeah. Yeah, nice. This is, you know, stuff like this is why we mountain bike, eh? Hey? This feature at the start of the next trail will test my confidence after my recent crash. Dan is going to show me before I give it a go. All right, just doing a roll in to what Dan just did. Normally this kind of feature I can do, but my confidence needs a bit of a boost at the moment. Whoa. Watch off a little bit of speed, because you get, you get boost off that jump, right? Yeah. And you kind of get braced against behind, behind the cockpit, so the chin, the chin should be over your stem. Yeah. As you come down, you can like extend, connect, pull in. Yeah. I know it's easy, but I just can't get my head to do it. In most other insta instances, this would like come out here. Yeah. It'd be a nice, even square to drop off. Yeah. Wasn't pretty. I did it. I thought maybe I dropped the front a little bit too early. I think maybe you could have just held onto it a yeah. little bit. Yeah. You, you really absorb, you push down with your arms to connect the ground, you absorb with your legs. Yeah. So when you're landing and you put your weight into the bike, that puts compression in. Yeah. Right? So when we're coming across this stuff here, we've got grip as we exit. Yeah, yeah. But you man, you nailed it, dude. This is this is a tricky section. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's I, I'm happy I've done that now. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Let's do, do it. it. That one felt better. All right, got this slab here. Yeah, woo!
across the Maxis Tire Bridge. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Whoa. Duncan. Holy. Chunky as. Well, there's a couple of rock rolls coming up at some point that we have a look at. Go on, Yeah. Yep. Yeah, nice. You come around here. Super slow, man. Like. Yep. Control, control. Touching all these rocks if you can. Ooh. Yeah, down here, you want to aim for that rock there because that, that's kind of. Your landing rock. Yeah, you'll be off the ground for a split second, off the rock for a split second, but like that will sort of suck the front in. Yeah. So this is a rock you were saying? Yeah. yeah. Have you got enough time to get on the brakes in there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can see. Yeah. Oh man, that definitely got the blood pumping. <laughs> really sketchy. Yeah, nice. Okay, that wraps up an awesome uh, session with Dan, um, taking me around some uh, trails, uh, pretty sick ones as well, like I got some really good confidence booster from doing the rock rolls, so pretty happy with that. If you want to watch my last video, look up there and you can subscribe up here. See you on the trails.